hundreds of people were stranded on roads across southern Colorado. Around a dozen first responders tied up elsewhere. Manitou and Colorado Springs firefighters rescuing a lost hiker on the incline in blizzard conditions. Our Sam Kramer was there to watch this in a story you'll only see on News 5. Sam. Yeah, the firefighters tell me a man in his late 60s decided to hike the incline without proper winter weather attire, quickly became wet and cold and then needed a rescue. And their message now, just be smart. It doesn't matter how many warnings are sent, how hard the wind is blowing, or how much snow has fallen. Coloradans like Clay Caldwell will still find a way to go for a hike. I saw a snow day blizzard option is, let's go today. But with a blizzard of historic proportions impacting much of southern Colorado, first responders would rather you stay inside, preventing highly technical and time-consuming rescues like what happened Wednesday at the Manitou Incline. We wouldn't recommend hiking in weather like this unless you're prepared and experienced in it. Make sure you have the proper equipment. It took firefighters an hour to hike along Bar Trail up to an unexperienced hiker and not without their own hazards. Uh, there's some ice, there's some slippery spots, there were a number of uh, trees that were being knocked over by the weight of the heavy spring snow and the winds. The 69-year-old man was underdressed and in turn wet and cold along the incline. We were afraid of hypothermia, which in this type of weather, that's we, what we have to be careful of. So we had to make sure that he was he was warm right away. Using this basket and ropes, they were able to wheel him down safely in all a two and a half hour operation, one they like to avoid the next time a major storm hits. Sometimes it might be best just to stay home. There you have it. Firefighters say the man is in stable condition and because many of you have asked online to bill for all of this, well, that falls on to you, the taxpayer. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Sam Kramer, News 5.